Jeremy Noller here with more Minutes of Drums for you. On a recent deep dive into Elvin Jones' later discography, the phrase I showed you in episode 23 caught my ear. Here's the original recording from the track Spoonin' on Dewey Redmond's 1998 album Momentum Space. The solo on this track is pretty free, but Elvin also uses this phrase in the context of more in-time playing. Here's another example of a similar five-note phrase from the trading on familiar ground off Elvin Jones' 1984 record, Brother John. This is a phrase you hear Elvin play quite often. It's not much of a challenge technique-wise, but the phrasing is another story. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to extend this five-note phrase over four bars. I'll also show you how to move the starting point around the measure so you can internalize different placements of the phrase. Of course, I need to talk some music math first. In these lessons, I've taught several phrases using three or six count rhythms, but five is a bit more challenging to hear over the bar line. The key to getting started with any odd count idea like this is to figure out how many repetitions you can fit into a larger phrase. This phrase consists of five eighth notes. In four bars of 4-4 four, four time, there are 32 eighth notes. That means we can get through the five note phrase six times for a total of 30 eighth notes with just two left over to fill. Now the math isn't too complicated, but hearing this odd phrase can be a challenge. Now to put this four bar phrase into action. The basic phrase will remain the same as the original minute of drums lesson, with two minor exceptions. I'm going to alternate the tom note between the floor tom and the high tom. That will make it a bit easier to hear where you are in the phrase. I'm also going to keep the hi-hat going on two and four. This is a bit of a technical challenge, but it's key to keeping track of where you are in the bar. First up, I'm going to start the phrase the same way I did in the original episode, with the bass drum pickup on the and of four and the floor tom on beat one. You can try to count along with the six repetitions of the phrase and hear how it fits against the two and four hi-hat. Also, note the ending that fills the remaining two eighth notes of the phrase. Here it is slowly with a two bar count off and then faster, alternating with four bars of swing. Now I'm going to keep everything the same, sticking, orchestration, and that four bar length, but change where the phrase starts in the measure. This time I will shift everything forward one eighth note, so the bass drum will be on one and the floor tom on the and of one. Note the change to the ending. Since there's now one less eighth note to add on, I'm going to end with a snare hit on the and of four. Again, I'll play it slowly with a two bar count off, and then faster, alternating with four bars of swing.
And for the last variation, I'll move the phrase forward another eighth note. Now the bass drum will be on the and of one and the floor tom on beat two. This one simply ends with a bass drum and a ride crash on the and of four. Here it is slowly and then fast. The key to using five note phrases like this one is internalizing how the phrase plays out over a given length of measures. This will take some time, but once you have it in your ears, you'll be open to a whole new world of phrasing possibilities. Once you've got this internalized, explore as many ideas as you can think of in this context. That could keep you busy for a long time. Happy practicing.